Welcome, this is the second video on cell organelles. We're going to start with the endoplasmic reticulum, which is a system of membranes often closely associated with the nucleus of a cell. Parts of cell membranes are uh, synthesized here. Proteins are synthesized here and modified here. It's basically just a membrane system which modifies uh, and partitions off parts of the cytoplasm for specific metabolic reactions. And I have a quick drawing here with the nucleus and then the endoplasmic reticulum membrane system all around the nucleus. The next structure which we're going to focus on is the Golgi apparatus, often drawn as stacked sacs. They are membrane sacs. Again, many complex metabolic reactions here, but a lot of proteins are finished, carbohydrates are finished, materials are packaged in membrane sacs that are going to be put outside of the cell membrane, and it's often drawn as stacked sacs. You can distinguish it from the endoplasmic reticulum because it's often not closely associated with the nucleus, but drawn off in the cytoplasm somewhere. The next structure are lysosomes, which are small membrane organelles filled with digestive enzymes. They're basically vacuoles filled with digestive enzymes. They break down molecules, they break down old and worn out organelles so that the molecules can be recycled. They basically look like vacuoles. If this was a vacuole, this is how you would draw a lysosome. So they're indistinguishable except that the lysosome has digestive enzymes in it. Next structure are vacuoles themselves. Animal cells can have some small vacuoles, but mostly vacuoles are associated with plant cells where they have a large central vacuole filled with water, which helps to keep turgor pressure and support the cell and keep it from wilting. I've drawn a um, plant cell here, this rectangular cell, and you see we have the nucleus in the corner and the cytoplasm all around this very large central vacuole. Chloroplasts are next. These are organelles found in plant cells. They are specialized double membrane organelles and are the site of photosynthesis. We're going to actually have another lecture and specifically focus on the process of photosynthesis and the structure of a chloroplast but as you can see, it's a very specialized structure for a very specialized set of metabolic reactions. And the last organelle we're going to focus on is the mighty mitochondria. This is, again, a very specialized double membrane organelle. It's the site of aerobic cellular respiration. And it's often drawn like this, where they have an outer membrane and then a complex, loopy inner membrane system. Again, this is just an area of the cytoplasm which has been partitioned off by this special membrane-bound organelle and is a place where the very specific chemical reactions of cellular respiration take place. I hope that was helpful.